Five part C, a company with 10,000 shares, nominal value rupees 100. So that number of shares is equal to rupees 10, number of shares is equal to 10,000. Nominal value is equal to rupees 100. It is a dividend, annual dividend of 8%. So dividend percent is equal to 8%. So the shareholders calculate the amount, total amount of dividend paid by the company. So children, dividend is equal to D percent upon 100 into nominal value into number of shares. That's children, D percent upon 100 into nominal value into number of shares. Number of shares children in this case would come out to be 10,000. So the dividend paid by the company would be 80,000 rupees. That's the first answer, 80,000 rupees a dividend the company pays out to all the shareholders. Ramesh had bought 70 shares. So here now children will, ch will change the number of shares. N is equal to 90. At rupees, so market value rupees 150 rupees. I go dividend he receives a percentage return on his investment. So first dividend children would come out to be the same formula. So dividend would be D percent upon 100 into nominal value into number of shares which is n in this case so that's d percent upon 100 into nominal value into number of shares number of shares children here comes out to be 90 this cancels with this so you get 720 as the dividend rupees 720 as a dividend first part second part is percentage return or profit percentage children would come out to be dividend upon investment times 100 that's dividend upon investment investment children investment would come out to be number of shares into market value into 100 so children this cancels with this you'll have fit this cancels with this 80 by 15 which goes in by 5 3 times by 5 16 times 16 by 3 which is 5 one third or 5.33 percent that's the dividend he receives children that's the dividend percent he receives a sum like this which is for four marks children will fetch you one mark for all the formulae all the formula that's this one that's profit percent all of them combined one mark first answer one mark second answer correct one mark third answer correct one mark that's totally four marks for this part let's see next question children